To be up here again in this position, taking part in this tradition makes me feel so incredibly blessed. But when comes time for that nerve shredding pause in between the poems and the scores, it makes me feel so incredibly stressed. And by now I wouldn't find it out of the ordinary if some of you are getting a little bit bored of me, but I am nowhere near getting bored of doing this. And by now you can probably tell which part of you I'm trying to kiss, but I do so without apology. Because the audience is a poet's most valuable commodity, and when I come here I try and do things properly. When I climb this stage I try to bring a product that's of the highest grade, and I try to ensure my strategy is always inclusive of a brand new never before heard exclusive that I hope will be conducive to me being received fondly but coming up with three new rhymes in time felt a little bit beyond me so for the first one I want to take it back about six years and up a couple flights of stairs they've just taken out all the tables and chairs because the queue is extending down past the end of the road the building's approaching overload more than 500 people packed in like cattle the atmosphere is high in here because the poets and MCs are about to battle and there's going to be cheering and there's going to be booing and there's going to be shouting and laughter and a man named Israeli is putting the role of the ringmaster my 26 year old eyes have never seen a crowd this size before at poetry night, least of all one this height, and that's when Disraeli passes me the mic. See, it's just four old friends, back together once again, me and my reef more, I'm booking my pens, whenever I'm burning kind, I get this burning desire to write rhymes, to spit them and to listen to them, I don't just express myself with them, I breathe through them, I speak and I think and I wake, sleep, eat and drink, and I'm constantly taking my thoughts and feelings and shrinking them into words and sentences, then tweaking the timing and finding the rhyme and the composition and the emphasis until my flow and my mind become perfectly aligned. Amazing grace, I once was lost, but now I rhyme, and my flow is like the Nile, gathering strength to discover my style, and my flow is like the lava that tore through Pompeii, immortalizing ash that which stood in its rhyme, my flow is like the blood that pumps in my veins, it Marley said emanci- it nourishes and it sustains, Marley said emancipate yourself, and my flow breaks off my chains, and I walk free like Mandela, Get more soup, by the way. I might not speak to beats, but I could drop a sweet a cappella. And though I know my flow will not be the quickest, sick of the slickest you've ever encountered, I defy you to try to find a rhyme who enjoys what they do more than I do. Because like birds fly south in winter time, whenever I begin to rhyme, I fly too to a place a little warmer, a space a little calmer, with a little more love and a little less drama. Where the sky above is just a little truer, and where the truth feels just a little truer, because it's my medication, it's my meditation, and my therapy. And even when I feel most alone, it's always there for me. And sometimes life can affect me kind of scarily, but I read the dreadlines. I know in the scheme of things, my Troubles are small, but I feel pretty small myself. But just give me a mic and a stage and a beautiful, respectful, hushed room and a double in size like when Mario drops a shroom and the shit I spit hit you the heart of an anisonic boom because it's rhymes I want, love and need. Yeah, little school reference there, it's rhymes on which I feed. And when I get cut, it's rhymes I bleed, but it replenishes and heals. And though some uses to conceal, ultimately it only reveals. And it makes me feel I should kneel and give thanks for being given something so real. And the times we live in us are full of deception, depression, oppression, and aggression. But this is the place that comes to for confession, to celebrate and to grieve, and to retrieve my faith that things will get better. This is my Ganges, my Zion, my Jerusalem, my Mecca, the place I believe I was born to be. This is the place where I am free. Thank you very much. Yeah.